Well, Sean McCoy said he thinks Tom Brady can play five more years. Do you have the guts to say that's crazy? <laughs> yeah, sure, I'll be brave. Uh, no, it's it's not crazy. It actually could be... Lo Look, it's crazy that he's this good now. It's crazy that Tom Brady left the team I root for at 42, and I was kind of sad about it, and then I had to watch him <laughs> win another Super Bowl. That's crazy. It shouldn't that be happen? that way. He would be 48 <laughs> in five years, which is how old, I believe, George Blanda, the oldest person to play in the NFL, was. So I can tell that it's like a number he's probably aiming for because it's a record <laughs> and he wants to have all of those. But if you listen to what LaShawn said, the quote was, he can play another five years just because not only just the talent or the big arm and all that, it's just like he gets it. He mm. gets it. That's the quote, which to me sounds like a guy who's in love. He's just very, very grateful for the fact that he didn't play a single snap and he got a second Super Bowl ring. The first of which he didn't play a single snap. He's just like, it sounds like he's in a brand new relationship. He's way too over the top. They're in the honeymoon stage. And he's like, look, we just have these conversations. Like sometimes we just talk for like four hours and it perfect. feels like 30 minutes yes. went by. <laughs> I love that, Katie. And I think it's a great point. But I also think if we're going to parse words a little bit here, he did say play. He didn't necessarily say keep winning Super Bowls as in three out of the next five or anything crazy like that. So I'll be the person to say, yeah, he'll probably be out there. I don't know that he's going to keep winning. Not because Tom Brady isn't fantastic, but at some point, the rest of the league has to catch up. I mean, all right, wow. you did it. Go to Tampa, add water, Bruce Arians, diverse <laughs> staff, we love it, Super Bowl. All right, <laughs> that's enough. Somebody break the microwave. The instant formula can't keep working. You're new here, and I can tell because you just doubted Tom Brady's ability to keep defying expectations and playing and succeeding beyond whatever year we've assigned as his last one, which we've now done, I believe, for the last six years or so. It's fine. You're new. I get it. I just I don't want bad things to happen to you like they've happened to me for the last six years or so. When I keep saying at some point, Father Time always catches up. Father Time is undefeated, which is a very original thing that I keep trotting out every year, only to have Tom Brady stomp all over my analysis. So no, I'm not going to be the person who has the onions to say he couldn't play till 48. And LaShawn McCoy might be in love. Or he might also be talking about like when he says he gets it, what he gets is I can keep playing quarterback while amounting to 0 0.02 of a yard per scramble for the season, <laughs> meaning I can literally almost not move at all. And as long as this arm still does this and this brain still reads defenses better than anybody else, I'm good. Sarah, we cannot let Monica just dangle in the breeze like that. Monica, I'm going to join you because I know Sarah's very hurt and scared. Katie's self-evidently extraordinarily hurt and scared by Tom what? Brady. I know Tom Brady likes to make these like mixtape compilations of people doubting him. He just released one after he won this recent Super Bowl. So I'm going to do the yeah brave thing here. And I'm wow. going to say, Tom Brady, despite the fact that I am sitting in front of you, in front of a bunk bed, I'm going to declare that in 2026... You will not be playing well. Put this sound in your mixtape if you dare. 2026, you're 48 years old. You're going to be terrible. See you in five years. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.